what's going on there youtube it's necro and uh today i'm going to be doing some fishing at least for like an hour or two uh i'm thinking about doing a chatterbait challenge i never caught a fish on a chatterbait so i found some ponds using google earth and i figured i wanted to see if those have any fish uh i have time athena she is already eight we have played fetch I have chased her around the yard. She has chased me around the yard. It's time for her to take a nap. So she needs to calm down. She needs to take a nap before I leave to work so I can play with her again. And then right before I go to work, hopefully she's tired and she goes straight to bed while the wife comes home from work and lets her out from her crate. So with that said, this video is gonna be just chatterbaits. I picked up some chatterbaits on some Z-Man Originals and I've never caught one, I've never used it, so I want to see if I can, I don't know, I guess build some confidence with it. So I'll probably just use just the regular chat, uh, just the chatterbait by itself at first and if nothing happens then I'll add a trailer to it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video, let's see what happens. I hope you guys like the stash. Gonna wish me luck to catch some fish on chatterbait? I'll take that as a yes. I know I think I got some uh, more trailers in here. So I got some rage tails. So I'll take that. And uh watermelon red pumpkin flake. I got some rage tails in black and blue, should be good. So these are the rods I'll be taking. Like I said, very simple. Just two rods. I got a um, Veritas 2.0 Albert Garcia rod. Uh, I think this is what, six? No, this is seven foot medium heavy with 12 pound floral carbo carbon line with, as you can see, a watermelon uh, chatterbait with a loose speed spool reel. I love this reel. I uh, got it from Tackle Warehouse for I think 180. So I love it. And then I got my cheaper rod it's a Mach 1 speed stick by Luz combo with a uh, Luz Mach 1 speed rule uh, reel so it was a combo and I had that set up with the blue black so um, let's put this in the G35 all right boys and girls I am here I'm gonna see if there's any bass in this pond like I said I'll be throwing only chatter baits so I'm gonna start just with no trailer, see what happens. But this is a watermelon uh, Z-Man chatterbait. Let's see how it goes. Water is what? Kinda, kinda murky. Not too bad. It had rained a few days ago, so. No, it rained on yeah, Halloween, so. The water's a little bit stained. Let's see if I can switch to the blue and black. I just saw this pond while I was driving back home from uh, the store. I figured I'd try it out. I saw one person fishing here when I drove by. So I went on Google Earth. There's like three ponds right next to each other some neighborhood ponds I didn't see a sign saying you know residents only so I figured it'd be okay but you never know people can just come here and tell you to go away because you're not a resident or whatever but everybody <clears throat> should handle it different I don't know I mean there's no sign I guess they can't kick you out I don't know but uh, I don't know, teach their own, I guess. Just don't get in trouble, guys and girls. Just be respectful. If you're respectful, maybe they'll just leave you alone and just let you keep fishing. But always, that's one of the things whenever I look for uh, ponds and they're like in neighborhoods, I usually look for, uh, go on Google Earth and go on the Street View and I'll look for uh, signs along 
the pond that I'm planning on going to fish, see if there's any uh, signs saying you can't fish there. Just to keep yourself from getting the headache, from having to deal with people and I don't know. Me, I just like to be left alone. I deal with enough people at work. Just leave me alone, let me fish. If and I'm not supposed to be there, then whatever, so be it. I mean, being in Texas, there's a lot of places to fish without getting harassed or bugged or whatever, so. Just uh, food for thought for uh, you all. All right, I threw on a trailer. Like I said, it was a Strike King trailer. So, it looks delicious, if I might say. So, let's see, hopefully the trailer Add something to it and get to get to bite. Not getting any luck with this chatterbait. It's got to be fishing here. Well, the challenge isn't going so well. Uh, went to this first pond and absolutely nothing. Uh, I was probably there for about 45 minutes. Uh, Cherry baits were working, so I'm gonna try a different pond. So see how that goes. Can't get any worse. Well, I'm at a new pond, but it's the wind's really picking up. So I don't know how long I'm gonna be fishing because the wind picked up a lot in the past hour, and I'm not digging that. So we'll see what happens. See if we can catch anything in this one. This ponds look promising. There's got to be something in here. Water well, actually looks kind of clear over here. It looks a little bit blue. Maybe they put some chemicals in here recently. It looks blue. I don't think there's any fish today, guys. Maybe the rain threw them off or something, or... This is like some clear water, but it's like blue. It's got a blue tint to it. They might have put some chemicals in here. Because it doesn't really look too natural. It looks like another uh, pond that I saw in a video. But the water is like super clear. But it's... But it's bluish, bluish greenish. So I don't know if I'm gonna get a bite. Probably my last cast. Almost 11. No luck on two ponds. Probably been in, in what? Ow, almost an hour and a half of fishing. Not a single bite. Maybe the rain threw them off. I don't know. Maybe this chemical or whatever. But oh well. It could always come back another day. Sorry guys and girls that I couldn't get any fish today. But still learning experience. My first time throwing chatterbait. So see if I could work on some techniques or uh, better options at trailers or whatever or even different types of colors but no luck today go home play with athena feeder and get ready for work but i think that's gonna be it guys all right guys well sorry for that didn't catch no fish uh it's not how i wanted to start off this little chatterbait challenge so i got the skunk I didn't stay out that long. I think like an hour and a half. Tried two ponds. They looked good. Um, but obviously nothing was hitting. Uh, the second pond looked like they might have put some chemicals in there. Um, it was like, it was clear, clearer than the first one. The first one had uh, a lot of like dirty water, kind of. It was like murky um, from the rain that happened like two days ago. But this pond was like super clear, so maybe they put some chemicals and it was like blue, like a blue green. So who knows? Um, but 
I'm gonna keep those baits on, those rods. I'm probably gonna try again. Uh, see if I can maybe go out Sunday morning, maybe Saturday, uh, Monday. Um, I don't know, maybe even the weekend. Um, see if I can finally catch that first fish on that chatterbait. I really wanna try, I heard it's a good bait to uh, throw out in the fall time. So, I don't know, I want to see what the hype is. So, I was throwing those um, original Z-Man chatterbaits with the trailer, nothing. So. Hopefully I get better luck next time. So please uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. You can check out my social medias with Twitter. You can catch me out on Twitch when I'm not fishing, gaming. Uh, so yeah, I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.